Okay, so this week you are now continuing to finalize your project proposal. So the first week of class, the week you did orientation, you had to come up with a project idea. Last week you worked on filling out about three forms to help you structure this idea a little more. This week you will take some feedback from those forms and then you will create a formal project proposal. Now this is the beginning of a document you will want to keep and add to throughout the semester. Um, and this will save you a lot of time towards the end if you do as I suggest. So first when you're under that this next week, I believe it's going to be week three chapter, you're going to see a project proposal video. Um, this is just someone talking through working on a project proposal. Not all of it will apply, but it's a good video. Then you have a video on seven common proposal mistakes. A lot of this has to do with your writing and communication. So get in your head from the start. This project is very much about communication um, from a technical standpoint to the ability to explain things to a client or user. Um, and I will be on you a lot about this. Um, if English is your second language, I'm going to recommend that you use the Writing Center to help with these uh, writings. Um, if you're just not good at grammar, punctuation, or how to write, um, so you're not writing in first person, um, then you need to use the Writing Center also, and I'll be happy to make those uh, recommendations for you. Okay, so the proposal format will be listed on the screen, um, and it has an order to it, and I want you to have headings in it. So you're going to have a title page with your name, date created, and a revised date. So this is something you will revise as you go along, but don't change the date created. A table of contents that you will update throughout the semester. Then you're going to have to have page numbers. Make sure they're in the lower right bottom corner, but not on the title page. You're welcome to put a picture or a diagram or something on the title page if you would like, or you can do that later, or not at all. That's up to you. Okay. Use uh, headings, bold headings where needed, and a size 14 font. I'm a little larger than normal, but my eyesight's going as I age, so I'm going to ask you to go from a 10 point, I mean 12 font to a 14 font. Um, please use a common readable font. I'm not that picky. Times New Roman works. I think Calibria works. Um, don't pick anything scripted or looks like italics the whole writing. That's not what we want. It's got to look professional. Then you're going to start, uh, your first part is going to be your project proposal and you're going to take a lot of that information from the forms that you filled out and from the feedback that I gave you about your project so far. So you're going to give an overview, through two or three statements of a project, an explanation of the current system. There's always a current system even if you don't think a system's in place, they're handling it some way or they're anticipating the need for something. So you put something in there. Um, an overview of why the project is needed. Again, not long. That's kind of like the history that's led up to the project. Again, some of these might have to be made up because you're having to use your imagination. The objectives of the project, meaning what do you hope it will give, deliver, con uh, conquer, or contribute. And the users involved, again, you may have to make up some users or stakeholders would have been a better term for me to have there. A general timeline, how long you think it will take, maybe lay it out a little bit. You can even graft it out if you want. And an overall budget, just put it in a chart right now. It doesn't need to be in Excel, but just give those few numbers we talked about from last week, put them in a little formal writing. So at the most, the Pro proposal format is probably only a couple pages unless you have a bigger history. Okay, so I'm going to be looking to make sure you don't say I or they. The project uh, should be, the project will include, not I am going to do. The project will include is a better sentence. Um, so you want to take yourself out of your writing 
no I, he, she, make it uh, more generic than that, more technical than that. Um, be careful about those pronouns. So um, anyway, that's it for the proposal format this week. Again, remember this format, turn it in in this way. You don't have to have things on separate pages if you can fit more than one on one page. Just do the bold headings. Um, I really would like the headings um, to be lined up to the left, um, not centered, just on the left of the paper, and then your uh, contribution or your writing under the heading, not in bold. All right. Have a good week and good luck.